Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Sidic Alex, and today I want to roll CTPs with you guys, and I've got a lot of options to go through, so hopefully we can get lucky and pull out some great stats. Now, before we get started, I am going to be rolling a CTP of patients that I pulled recently from Boost Points, and I am going to hopefully be equipping it on Corvus here. Now, I think the CTP of patients is ideal for Corvus because he has clones, he's got the summons with deadly charge, so an all attack CTP like transcendence or patience is perfect because it boosts his all attack which boosts the attack of his clones additionally he gives himself 25% guaranteed dodge so being able to boost his dodge even more we've got 54% will be a boon to the character would make him more annoying to kill and also make him stronger which are two things that I would love uh, and it would replace his obelisk right now which is decent but not amazing now a lot of people will say yes Guard break immunity is fantastic for Corvus, but that's okay. I'm not going to be playing him too much in like Alliance Conquest or game modes where he can't be manually controlled. I'll be doing most of the controlling, so I don't think guard break immunity uh, is necessary for my Corvus. Now, I've gotten a lot of obelisks saved up here. These six star ones that have bad stats that I'm going to be feeding or using to reroll my CTP of patients. I've managed to gather 23 for you guys today. Michael Jordan. So we're going to hopefully not have to use up all of those. The max stats available for a CTP of patience, if you happen to get super lucky, is 40% dodge, 40% all attack, which is insane. And then the activation rate when HP is below 50%, that's the best. And then a 50% decrease to reflect with a 5 second effect and 5 seconds of invincibility. So, you know, it goes 40, 40, 50, 50, 5. Five in terms of all those numbers from the top to the bottom. Obviously, I'm not going to be hoping for that specifically because it's probably a one in a hundred or one in a thousand chance, and I don't have that many obelisks. But anything with over 20% dodge, over 20% all attack, and five seconds of invincibility, I will take. So not that difficult to hit as far as the threshold goes. And we will have other obelisks to roll or other CTPs if I do get lucky with that one. And additionally, we'll also be opening up the uh, CTP selector during this video. So let's get it started here. Change the option and see what we get. First one up is web ignore dodge. Let's see what we roll here. Boom. 30, 26. That's not bad. 50%, 50%. First roll. Are you kidding? Wow. Okay. I There's no way I can... I can I have to keep that. There's no way I would I would re-roll that. That's insane. Okay, so right away, very good luck. Oh, that's amazing. So yeah, uh, thanks guys. Let's move on then. Uh, I have some really well-rolled CTPs of authority with five seconds uh, invincibility and five percent all attack. So I'm not going to re-roll any of those. I have a 200 proc uh, CTP of energy. I swear I'm not trying to show off for you guys, but it's just I'm explaining why I don't want to reroll those ones because I know some of you will ask, why didn't you reroll the CTP of authority? Why didn't you reroll the CTP of energy? Um, I'm thinking of rerolling these two CTPs of refinement because they're both 10% recovery and I want to get 20%. But I think first we should open up the CTP selector because I think a lot of you guys are curious what my decision is going to be, which one I'm going to choose. And then I also want to see what the stats are on it. Now, I do appreciate a lot of you guys giving me your advice on what to choose a few days ago when I asked you guys in a video. A lot of you guys said CTP of Destruction. Some of you guys said CTP of Energy for PvP or for ABX. Some of you guys uh, said the CTP of Authority for PvP. But ultimately, I think the rarest two obelisks as far as the fewest ones that I have and the ones that are the hardest to get, it's either Patience or it's Destruction. Just frankly, those seem to be the hardest ones to get for most players in the game however this one is more pvp centered and this one uh is one that i just got a few days ago i just got the one that i just rolled perfectly for corvus so i think for those of you that guessed correctly or those of you that suggested me uh the ctp of destruction you were correct so we're gonna boom get that one see what the stats are if you didn't know you can actually click and hold on items that you get now this especially obelisks not just ctp six star obelisks or five star obelisks that you get from Shadowland or a login event and you can see the stats before they go into your inventory so that you don't have to pick through all of the ones that you have looking for that brand new one this one's actually pretty decent 37 percent crit damage 180 damage proc i don't think i'm gonna re-roll this one just yet of course 200 is the mythic number but 45 percent is the max for the crit damage and 37 is not too far off of that so i'm getting really lucky right now maybe i should record 
and not stream when I'm rolling my obelisks from now on. I can hear all the Twitch bros getting salty over that, but I'm getting so, so lucky. So we're going to move on to these CTPs of refinement. I also do have an obelisk with guard break and nothing else that I did want to try and reroll. I'm also still trying to reroll something for Vulture, but I have nothing so far with a damage proc that's good enough. So let's see here. The max stats, I believe, are 34% max HP, 90% recovery rate, which is a huge gap, and then 50% 6 guard hits for 6 seconds, and 20% recovery. I just mentioned the max stats in case you guys are wondering uh, what I'm aiming for and what I would kind of be satisfied with. I'm not really too interested or I'm not too picky about the max HP and the recovery rate, but it has to be a six guard hit and it has to be a 20% recovery. Otherwise, the, the CTP of refinement just doesn't do enough. It's supposed to keep you alive. That's the way it keeps you alive by healing you constantly. So we're going to throw this poison damage one out there, see what we get. Okay, max HP went up, recovery rate took a nosedive and the guard hit and the recovery is the same. So that's obviously still not good enough. I would like it if they had kept it. This is my other one with 27. Let's keep rolling the same one. I would like it if they had kept the obelisk that you're re-rolling up for you so you don't have to go and find it every time. Now, I know this is a poison damage proc. It's got a 160 activation damage proc, but it's just not enough. Poison damage is really only useful for Green Goblin, and Lizard is just not in the game. Uh, so we're just going to re-roll this one and use it up, and hopefully we get 20%. Nope. Less max HP. Okay, so my luck is starting to... Uh, show its true colors and I hope you guys who were too salty at the beginning of the video because I got lucky twice are now kind of you know smiling and rubbing your hands together because I'm finally uh, meeting my yeah okay I'm finally getting what I deserve another bad one that's okay we've got a lot to go through um, but if you guys are curious the CTP of, of patients that I re-rolled you get those from having boost points so oh that's beautiful Oh, that's fantastic. That's so close to perfect. I'm 6% off, 5.2% off max HP perfection. I'm 5.7% off max recovery rate. That is bellissimo. Woo! Are CTPs male or female? I don't know. Anyways, we've got more to reroll, guys. This is what happens when you're a whale and you have lots of CTPs. I know what I am. I am tempted to reroll some of these CTPs of Transcendence because I have a lot of them, but... Eh. I don't know, I just re-rolled the refinement and the patience, and we've got the authority, and we've got the energy. I kind of want to differentiate it a little bit, but frankly, I don't even know what to do. I'm at the point where I have more than 30 CTPs, I counted, uh, and I don't know where they should go or who they should go on. I do know that this one's going to go on uh, Corvus right now, so let's equip this right now before we uh, end up changing our minds goodbye. In general, I don't like to overwrite or delete obelisks by kind of overriding them and equipping something else on top. You should definitely never do that for a CTP, by the way, unless you're a super ultra mega whale. But for those of you that are, the 600 crystals is probably not worth very much to you. Uh, but for those of you that are really trying to save, uh, I know the 600 crystals to unequip an obelisk seems like a lot, but trust me, you will never see a CTP, like you, you may not never see a CTP uh, again of that kind. So you should unequip it as often as you can. And I've heard stories of people deleting them and overwriting them so i just wanted to put that out for you guys and warn you just in case you would make that mistake uh yourselves so from here i think we're gonna re-roll this guard break immunity i'm feeling lucky i feel like we can finally get something good i don't know why my ctp luck is so good and yet my obelisk luck is so bad but let me show you what i'm talking about re-roll this of course crit damage physical shield and then so and so it begins the journey to the bottom fire damage recovery rate let's see what we get another physical shield this time with fear immunity or fear resistance uh still yeah i'm the only thing i'm afraid of is running out of obelisks here there's a proc with recovery rate but again recovery rate is a defensive stat 120 proc is low so overall this one's not very good this would be a nice kind of starter obelisk for anti-venom or even wolverine potentially because the guard break helps him against characters with penetration like scarlet witch but and uh nova and quicksilver and stuff like that but no i i have one for wolverine already although it's not perfect and i want something better okay literally just a little bit better we lose a little bit of recovery rate but we gain the damage proc however i'm looking for 180 percent and up I guess the reason why I'm luckier with CTPs than I am with obelisks is that CTPs have fewer stats. 
So frankly, oh, it's so bad. Frankly, it is better if you can help it. If you can save up your obelisks, it's better to use your obelisks to reroll CTPs. I realize that now because there's a there's a, a greater chance that you're gonna get a good CTP roll when you reroll it. Now, of course, there are people that will say I've I've tried 20, 30 times on the CTP of energy and I never got a 200% damage proc. Yes. But just statistically speaking, you're bound to get lucky sooner or later. This one is almost good enough. Recovery rate, max HP. Those are two very beautiful stats. That's a CTP, a mini CTP of refinement. But then, of course, shockwave. Yeah, I'm shocked. Okay, guard break, fire resist, four seconds. This is actually pretty not bad. Pretty good. Uh, fire resist is meta against, of course, Jean Grey and a few others. Four seconds of invincibility is okay. And then a guard break immunity. I don't particularly like it, but I'm wondering what you guys think of it and whether I should keep it or not. I've asked you this question before. You you play really well with that and give me your honest opinion. So I want to give you that uh, question, throw it back to you and get your feedback. In addition, I also want to ask you guys what you think of this obelisk right here. I asked the Twitch chat and generally speaking, they hated this obelisk or they thought I should trash it. I should reroll it up to six stars, but I'm kind of 50-50. It's Crit damage, ignore dodge, four seconds. It's got two offensive stats, but then awkwardly it has invincibility and no guard break immunity. So, I don't know. So let me know, please, what you guys think of those two obelisks. I know we didn't get to reroll all 23 of these, but I'm glad that we didn't because I got super lucky with three CTPs. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll save these for um, a future video where we reroll maybe 20 next time and I can finally get unlucky and you can all feel super happy while you taste my tears. So let me know how your tears tasted. Subscribe if you enjoy the content and you want to support me. Hit the bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos. And of course, if you like what you see, I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.